I'll be watching closely. Kind of sounds exciting. Let's take a look at this here. Wow. Yeah, let's, that was some lightning. Robert is just, yeah, he's whistling over there. Storms moved through the area this morning, bringing plenty of rain, a few flashes of lightning as we see here. Uh, no reports of any damage, though. That is the good news in connection to that system. But Robert, you had mentioned that this is not the last of the rain, unfortunately. We're going to see more of that as we had throughout the work week. Yeah, I think that if I read that right, that was a, along Garrison Avenue yeah, in Fort Smith Fort this Smith. morning. Hey, now. Yeah, it got rough this morning. I heard it here in Rogers, too. It woke me up out of bed. I slept through it, thankfully. Oh, must be But nice. yeah, I was one of the lucky <laughs> ones, yeah. But more rain and thunderstorms are in the forecast. There's that system this morning that brought all the rain and thunderstorm activity. Now really is it has fallen apart and it kind of is, is rotating around an area of high pressure. You see it moving back up toward the north, toward the Cincinnati area right now. But it was certainly an active morning for us this morning and we're going to see that again, possibly Wednesday and Friday as this train, this caravan of thunderstorm complexes continue. Just some just some happy clouds out there right now in the Springdale area where it's just 81 degrees. You got a dew point of 73. That makes it feel like it's 86 out there right now and elsewhere across Northwest Arkansas, mainly in the lower 80s. Take you down to Clarksville in eastern Johnson County. It's also nice and quiet in Clarksville where you got mostly cloudy skies. It's 84, but it feels like it's 88 thanks to that 70 degree dew point elsewhere across the River Valley. Mostly in the uh, upper 80s and mid 80s across the region. Now as we go through the evening hours, we will continue to see skies clear out, but it's once we get toward tomorrow morning, we're going to see another weak, much weaker thunderstorm complex come through. It'll be well to our south and west. It's just going to clip the river valley here, and you can see this is probably overdoing it uh, with some showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two. Then just like the past couple of days, we dry out in the afternoon and evening hours, and then by Wednesday morning, a more vigorous thunderstorm complex will be impacting the area, most likely something we're keeping our eye on. We're also keeping our eye on the chances for well above average temperatures six to 10 days out. Confidence is high in that from the Climate Prediction Center. This goes through June 16th and even further out eight to 14 days out. We're through June 20th now darker reds, so even higher confidence in summer like temperatures just in time for the first day of summer temperatures tonight upper 60s and lower 70s a muggy night you'll probably need the air conditioner and then back into the 80s for everybody for our Tuesday temperatures throughout the week will pretty much stay in the lower 80s and upper 70s for Northwest Arkansas thanks to those morning thunderstorm complexes that helps keep temperatures a little bit down you get that rain cooled air and it takes a little bit longer for the atmosphere to rebound and by the time it does the sun's already setting for the evening. River Valley about the same thing. Plenty of shower and thunderstorm chances, but by this weekend we start to dry out and we end that parade of thunderstorm complexes. Thankfully on Friday we forecasted a high on Saturday for Alpena. We forecasted 80. It got the 79. That is good enough for Ricky Burroughs of Charleston to take home the Darby by the umbrella. And then for tomorrow, we're going to take you to West Fork page and forecast a high of 82. Love it. All right, Robert, thanks so much. And hang tight. Still to come in sports, it's Hogs versus Pokes. Take three. Still early in this regional final rematch, but we know that these two teams can put up plenty of points. We're going to see the score from Stillwater in just a moment, as well as take a look around the world of sports. That's next.